All right, it is, I didn't even shut off the oven, 4.48, and I was waiting for Riley to get home because my brother-in-law picked them up today from school, and I come home, rushed home, made uh, corn and some chicken that I had bought yesterday and some rice, and he's eating over there. He's having hot dogs. So I was like, I just cooked you a nice meal, but anyways, so that's what we're having tonight, some corn, some chicken. I made some homemade gravy. It's a little pale looking, but it's good. Um, and some rice. So we're going to go sit down and eat that. I'm going to watch a couple YouTube videos. And then I am going to make a cheesecake. It's called a confetti cheesecake. And I'll show you guys how I do it. There's my plate all ready to go. Alright, so I just finished supper, and then I deboned the chicken. This is what's left. I'm going to bag that up stick, and stick that in the freezer for when I decide to make some broth. This was all the chicken that was left off of it, and this is going to be for the cat, the stray cat. Just some skin, <laughs> excuse me, and one of the wings. So I'm going to give that to the cat, get this mess cleaned up, and start on the cheesecake and what I'm going to do is I'm going to film the cheesecake separately but I will show you guys what it looks like at the end of this so I'm going to go get my counter all cleaned off I have to let this come to room temperature which it's still not at I should set them on the warm stove that might help I'm going to put the uh, my gravy away eat that up tomorrow. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to bag some of the chicken, put it in the fridge so that we can have some more tomorrow, and because there's going to be leftover rice and chicken and corn, and the rest of it I'll bag up and stick in the freezer. So I'll be back whenever I got everything cleaned. Okay, good morning guys. It's Saturday morning. It's 8 o'clock. I've been up for about an hour. Um, Decided I was going to make a nice breakfast. I got some hash browns going here. I cooked. Uh, I had bacon the other day and I cut half. Cut it in half and I cooked half of it. And this is the other half of it. Uh, I have a couple pieces of bacon. And then I just put these hash browns in the pan that the bacon was cooked in. And I'm going to cook these up. And then I'm going to make a few eggs. And that's going to be breakfast. I also have some toast over there that I will, Riley's probably going to have some toast, I don't want any, but, um, so yeah, I'm going to get breakfast done, and then uh, I'm going to make a list of stuff that i got to do today, I know I want to get the deep freezes cleaned out, and organized, and do an inventory of everything that's in there, plan up a couple meals for the next couple weeks. And all that fun stuff, so I will bring you guys along when I do that. So there is breakfast, got some bacon, eggs, hash brown, and toast. This is Riley's plate. Alright, so my plans for today. Where's my paper? It's pretty kind of, well, it's messy, but it's quick. It's, I can clean it up pretty quick. Um, I made a list here, I'll just quickly go over it with you guys. This list could totally be scrapped, but I know later I am going to go outside. I'm going to go to my dad's house, and he's got a big uh, metal shovel. I'm going to get that, and the driveway has to be, um, like, widened out. Because he come over with the uh, his bike with the plow on it, but it doesn't really do that good of a job. It's more just to clear the snow, whereas here it drifted, and... We're supposed to get another 25 centimeters of snow tonight, uh, tomorrow. So I just want to kind of clear my driveway and be prepared for the next storm. So uh, in a little bit when it warms up there, because it's only quarter to ten, uh, around a little bit before lunch, maybe I'll get dressed and go outside. So I'm going to tackle this as much as I can right now. Uh, so I got clean out the deep freezers, organize, and do inventory, which that's going to take me a little while to do. So I don't quite know what I'm going to start with on this list, but. I got peeled carrots, I'm going to slice them, shred the cheese, 
I want to wash the bedding, the tablecloth, and the curtains. I just bought this tablecloth the other day, and Riley already spilled some kind of substance on it. I have no idea. It kind of looks like spaghetti sauce, but we haven't had spaghetti, so I don't, I don't know what it is. Um, I already pulled down the curtains from the bedroom. I want to pull down all the rest of the curtains in the house and give them a good wash as well as the bedding, so I can. This will probably my, be my number one thing because it's, you know, kind of set it and forget it sort of thing until I have to put it into the dryer. Uh, dust and deep clean the kitchen and lemon. I got to juice, juice the lemon. This should be in brackets. Uh, and then I kind of did like what I want to do for the deep clean of the kitchen. I want to dust everything, take the cobwebs down. There's not too many cobwebs in the kitchen, but there's a little bit of dust on the ceiling where the fan is. I want to dust the fan really good and all that stuff. And I got a couple shelves that have some stuff on it. Like it, I'll show you a quick view of my kitchen. Uh, that's another thing that I have to write down. I got to redo a menu for March. Um, I don't have too many things like this shelf here. I can just quickly wash that down, but it's just mostly the top of it that gets dusty. There's this little shelf here, a couple little things up there, and then there's just these. Oh, I thought there was two shelves. Oh, the other one's over there. That's why. Duh. Um, just these two little shelves, more or less, are the things that get the dustiest. Dust off the clock. I got an owl hanging over there, just dust him down and just take, I got like a, one of those like, it's not a Swiffer mop, but it's one of those mops that do like the walls and stuff. I'm just going to wet it very gently because I don't want to, this is like paper on the wall and I'm just going to give it a quick wipe down and that's a good thing about these walls when I did the, uh, when I did it, when I did it over. Sorry, cat was going on like an idiot. Um, when I did the walls, I did them with like that Mac Tac type of thing or whatever it is. And it's good. It's easily wiped down and you don't see any like dirt much on it. And it's not like the walls get that dirty anyways. So just give that a quick wipe down. Uh, clear off the table. That's going to go in my son's room and his headphones. And he was going to get dressed and go outside, but I think he changed his mind. But he's, I want to make him go outside in a little bit. So whatever, that's just there for now. Uh, he's got some felts here I have to put on the heater. I'm going to clear that off. And another thing that I want to do is clean my boot area here. This is a bin and it has like extra hats and mitts and stuff in it. I'm going to go through that because it just sits there. There's a lot of stuff there that we don't use. So I'm going to put it away so that it's, you know, it's nice to have if we need extra. But And then those were his skates that he had used yesterday when he went on his little outing with the school. I want to clean all that stuff up. So I also want to clean off the fridge, which I didn't write down. Uh, deep clean, obviously the freezers, the cupboards and the pantry, sweep and mop the floors. I'm going to pull the stove out and do that. I'm going to water all my plants up there. Give those all a good water. They've been pretty well watered regularly, but I'll just set certain days to do it. Uh, clean out the fridge, clean out the shoe area, and wash the windows. So that is, and then obviously I have to add the clean off the fridge and stuff. Uh, we have clean out the fridge. Obviously when I clean it out, I'll clean it off as well. So uh, that's the plan. Then there's this little bit of clutter on the microwave here, but it's not too, too bad. Uh, I will probably never buy this lemonade from Walmart again. It was disgusting. My son likes it, but ugh, it wasn't all that good. So a little bit of stuff to clean off here and a little bit of dishes from breakfast to do. Get these ones put away later on. Riley's been bugging me. I bought this watermelon yesterday. It was two ninety seven, I think. Uh, he's been bugging me to cut it open, so I might do that later and then slice it up and then we can have he can have watermelon as a fruit whenever he wants to get that eaten up. And I also this is his stuff from school. I don't know if it's the big as dried out. I'll put his stuff back. And I did the, oh, I bought the, the stuff here to put on top of the deep freezes. This one here, it's a little 
but it's not a big deal. I really don't care. I just want it to get the nastiness of the top of it off, and it looks a lot better. And then here I ran out of, I ran out a little bit, just needed a little bit more. This was the zebra stuff that I had on before, but usually what I do, and I have to sort all this toilet paper here. Um, I'm going to close that so it doesn't look so bad. I just usually leave this box on top of it. So yeah, anyways, I'm going to get that closed up, get all this stuff put away fix up the cat's area it's a beautiful day but it's very cold I think it's like minus 23 but anyway so I'm gonna get cracking on this get this cleaned up Riley's in there playing on the computer playing on the computer and uh, I'll check back in a little bit and let you guys see what progress I made all right so I got all this cleaned off I hung his stuff up and got it out of the way because he's apparently not planning on going outside right now. I moved my table over here. I took the blinds off of that very bright window over there and the tablecloth. I'm going to get that all in the washer in a second. Um, but I just want to show you guys the deep freezes. This is the first one. It's full to the brim. i got to go through take all that stuff out. And I'll just put this on the floor for now. Oof. I got onions in that one, and every time I open it, I can smell it. And then there's this one that's full to the brim. So I'm going to go through, and what I think I'm going to do is, obviously, the one that has, like, the chopped up veggies and onions and stuff, I don't want that really in with my cookies, because I don't want my cookies tasting like onions. But I think I'm going to go ahead and put all the meat and, like, freezer meals and, like, prepped veggies and stuff in one. And then the other one, I will keep it for, like, the... Uh, dessert things and the cookies and that that I use and breads and you know little things like that so um, I want to see I want to pull everything out and put it on the table and see what I got okay so I got one deep freeze all taken out that's all the stuff there um, I just chiseled all that hard stuff from around now I'm gonna take all this ice out of there um, I'm going to wash it down as best as I can. I don't want it to thaw too much. I was going to unthaw it, but there's just too much stuff in the freezer to do that today. So I'm just going to half-ass it and yeah. So I'm going to scoop this out of here and give this a good wash and decide what's going to go back into this freezer. Alright, so I got it all chiseled out as much as I could, washed out as much as I could. That's just like rust spots, which obviously I can't get out. Uh, I took all the snow and everything out of there, washed it all good. And then down here, this is just like um, a 24-pack of Pepsi, just the bottom of it. Uh, it fits perfectly down there, so I like to... I used to have one, but I must have taken it out the last time I cleaned out the freezer. It just kind of catches any little thing that falls down, and you don't have that hard of a job to clean it out the next time around, so... I put that down there. Now I'm going to organize everything and put it back. I think this is going to be the freezer that I'll put like the sweets and the bread and all that stuff because this one's a little bit bigger and that one can hold like the meat and the freezer meals and the, f the food and veggies and stuff that we prepped. So I'm going to go ahead and put as much as I can in here. And there's some things in here that need to go in here. So once I clear a little bit of space on the table, um, I'll clean out this freezer as well. So this is deep freeze number two, uh, all cleaned out, or I didn't wash it out yet, but I'm going to take a rag and wash that down. The sides, there's quite a bit of ice here, but it's not like nasty looking like the other stuff was, so um, I might just chisel some of that out of there, give it a good wash, and that is what we got in freezer number two. So. I got lots of inventory to do, and I've been marking stuff down. This is what's in freezer number one, and then I just wrote, because there's lots of French toast and banana bread, that those are going to be some options for breakfast, and that's kind of how I'm organizing all this. All right, I got my window open just a crack. I don't want to open it too much because the birds come up here, and I don't want them flying in, but 
There's not really any air coming in. It's still minus, I think, 23 out with the wind. Sometimes I can see the snow blowing up there, but for the most part it's nice and it just kind of gives a bit of fresh air in the house. So, this is the situation on the deep freezes. I got the table all cleaned off and washed off. It may not look better to you guys. I should have showed you with all the ice chiseled, but I chiseled all that ice out of there and washed it down as much as I could. It is full down to the bottom. There's, um, I'll go over the inventory in a second, but I'll show you this one. It's a lot more organized than what it was. I'll be able to find things a lot better. It's not just kind of all thrown in there. It is quarter to 12, so I'm making some lunch. Um, we're kind of all having um, different things here, but um, I just pulled out one of the chili that I had made the other day, and I'm making that for Riley and I. Um, there was a couple hash browns left from breakfast this morning, so I asked Riley if he wants those, so I'll heat those up for him. So he's going to have some chili with some leftover um, hash browns. This was the rice that was left from last night's supper. I had the um, chicken and the, the corn and the rice. So I'm just going to go ahead and take this rice and fry it up. I already have my pan over here warming up. And then Jay has, he pulled out just a few meatballs from the freezer. And then he had a little bit of veggies that were in the freezer. And he used the gravy from last night and he's just making some kind of concoction, I guess. And he's just going to pour that over some rice. So we're eating up leftovers. There's a couple things that I pulled from the freezer, but overall we're eating leftovers. So he made a gluten-free banana bread. It was a boxed, um, I think it was Robin Hood or something like that. I can't really remember. I don't know where the box is, but I'm going to turn this down a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and make my lunch and then I'm going to, I'll get the rice in and then I will go over all the stuff in my deep freeze with you guys. Okay, <clears throat> so I got my rice in the pan, chopping it up. I just gave Riley his lunch, so I'm going to quickly go over what there is in the freezers. Um, this is, does not include, obviously, the pantries and the cupboards and the fridge and the freezer on top of the fridge. This is strictly those two deep freezes. The first deep freeze, I have a bunch of banana breads and pumpkin breads in there. Um, like I said, I had made another list. I believe it's under here. Yeah, for breakfast. I'm not done, but um, I will definitely be pulling out some banana bread and that's going to be eaten because this this one here is gluten free. So Jay's going to put that away and he can have that when he has a craving for some banana bread, but I have some stuff that's not gluten-free, so I'm going to pull that out, and I can send it to school for snacks as well for Riley. There's four loaves of bread in the freezer. I got five loaves of the gluten-free bagels. There's one loaf of banana bread. There's a pack of hamburger buns and one pack of hot dog buns. There's a pack of pita bread and a pack of wraps. And then... Ugh... You ever have, I don't know if your kids are like that. Mine's always mom, mom, mom. It's never dad. It's always mom. Every time I'm doing something. Anyways, and then there's a big bag of French toast. I'm going to go give this a stir and I'll be back. All right, and I have the big bag of French toast. That's another thing that I have written down there. I want to get those eaten up. And out of the freezer so eventually I can make more. I won't make as much next time though. I'll just make a few. Uh, I put sweets galore because there's like it's almost full to the top with just sweets that we made for Christmas and that my mom's given us and um, I had made a bunch of pre-made cookies but those are for the ones that don't have nuts are going to be for Riley's lunch like I bake up a couple at the beginning of the week and then he has a cookie for his dessert so that's part of that. I got two bags of fries. There's a bag of little bag of pizza sauce, which should be in this one, but I kind of found it after I was all done. Um, there's scraps um, and bones for a broth eventually that I will make, but I just don't have room to store any more containers in the deep freeze right now. Uh, and there's a little thing of cauliflower soup. That's in the first freezer. 
in the other freezer. I have 14 homemade burgers that I made up the other day when I did my meat prep. There's 8 packs of chicken breast, 7 packs of sausages, there's one beef roast, there was one big one and I cut it in two and one was already eaten. There's two pork roasts, uh, six packages of pork chops, like so basically six meals. There's uh, chicken burgers, chicken fingers, and chicken nuggets. So yeah, those were the chicken burgers and that that I bought the other day. There were five of them for 20 bucks. Um, we had used up a pack of the burgers already, but there's still a full pack of burgers. Um, two, three, four. There's, I think, two chicken fingers and one thing of chicken nuggets. There's six individual packs of like the hot dogs that I did up, so that's six meals of hot dogs. I have three things of the kielbasa, two uh, salmon left. I have a big, big bag of sole. Uh, two packs of taco meat, and what I did was like I put all the chicken together, I put all the beef together, all the pork together, all the fish together in um, grocery bags so that it's a lot easier when you're looking for something. Um, there's a bag that has broth in it. I have two pre made pizzas, which <clears throat> one of them will be eaten up this week, and then the other one will be eaten up the following week. Um, I don't know if I, it's it's good to have the pizzas, that it's convenient to have them made and in the freezer like that, but it also takes up a lot of space, so um, I think the next time that I make pizzas, if they're going to be like that, I'll make sure that the freezers aren't full of stuff. There's a pack of chicken legs, which I will decide what I want to do with that, if you guys have any ideas, um, just different recipes, I mean, I don't care, I'll throw some spices on them, but if you guys suggest something and it sounds good, I might give it a try. There's two packs of bacon. I have still some turkey balls in there from the turkey that I made. I believe it was in January. Um, two packs of turkey lunch meat. There's a big bag of peas. There's a bunch of meatballs, a bunch of chili. And then for veggies, I have a bag of Brussels sprouts. And then there's a bag that has a bunch of chopped up onions, a bunch of chopped up peppers, some carrots. There's beans and different things like that. And then I have a thing of refried beans. And then there's a bag that has a bunch of tomato soup in it. So um, we're good for a while for groceries. Uh, so when I make my meal plan, I'm going to look at this and plan my meals around this, which is something that I will do later on. So right now I'm going to go get myself some rice and chili. And I'll be back after lunch. All right, so I'm back. I had my lunch. It's 1.40 right now. I kind of took it easy for a little bit. I was watching some YouTube videos. I was working on <clears throat> some of the footage that I had from this morning, getting that ready to be uploaded and pieced together with this half of the video. And I was playing a little bit of my game on Facebook. And yesterday I had got myself a coffee at McDonald's and uh, we ended up going out for lunch with uh, my mom's brother, uh, who had a heart attack a couple of years ago, and then he just, uh, anyways, they had to put him into a home and that because he wasn't able to, you know, do things on his own and stuff, and he's not talking and stuff like he used to, and but he's coming around, uh, but he's never going to fully be better. And it was his birthday yesterday, so my mom asked me if I wanted to go out for uh, lunch with him and his sisters, which would be my aunts, and my little cousin, and my other cousin, and her kids, and we all went out for lunch to celebrate my uncle's birthday. And it was in the town that <clears throat> we go to dialysis in, so it wasn't like I didn't have to go out of my way. And I had stopped at to get a coffee for Jay before dialysis. You, lately... For a while, we weren't buying any coffees. Lately, just because they're a dollar at McDonald's, uh, sometimes I'll pick them up. Uh, I usually don't get one for myself, but yesterday I wanted one. And by the time we got to dialysis and that, I had there's it's about half full, and I didn't end up drinking it because then I went for lunch and all that stuff. And then when I come out, it was cold, so but I just heated that up, and that is what I want to drink right now because I. Need a afternoon pick me up, so I just heated that up. Um, so I've been working on. I just went and grabbed one of these little books that I had 
kicking around. Uh, I have a drawer that has all kinds of like school supplies and stuff, extras and whatnot. And I just wrote monthly meals and grocery lists. And I was going to go to the Dollarama and pick one up, like a hard covered one, but I think this will do. Um, I just kind of want to copy whatever meals I have here. And then, you know, I can do a grocery list. Like, obviously, this is for February, so I'm not going to do that. But for March, I'll write down different meal ideas that I want to make. And if there's any ingredients that I need to pick up for that, uh, then I can write it on the other side. And then it'll be easier to make my grocery list. But I'm going to really try to just focus all my meals uh, with the stuff that we have so that it's only little things next month that I have to pick up, like milk and uh, things like that. Like, we really don't need much, so um, that's my goal, is to just really eat up everything that we have. Because we did a quite a big a stock up on certain items and that, and yeah. So, that's what I was working on. Um, I had a list somewhere, it must be over on the table. Uh, anyways, I just wanted to show you guys this because I'm getting ready to go dust. This was a sock that was a mismatched sock. Couldn't find the other one. So I keep them. I don't throw them away. And you could put this on a duster if you had a duster as well. But I just put it on my hand and then I can go and, you know, we don't have blinds. But uh, if you had blinds, you could grab in between each one of them. I'm going to go dust the fan. I just shut it off so that I can dust up there. And I want to dust all those little shelves and the clock and everything. Uh, obviously, I'm not going to worry about the corners of the... Because once I wipe all that down. But, yeah. So, there's still... These dishes have to be put away. Um, that was the hot water that I was using to rinse the dishes. These are the dishes from lunch. My stove needs to be cleaned. But this is what's left for rice. I ended up having... Two little bowls of rice with chili on top. Riley didn't eat all of his potatoes, but I'll put those out for the birds. Uh, this was a container of something that was in the freezer. I am not even sure what it is. I don't know if it's broth. I don't know if it's tomatoes. I'm not sure, but I'm going to thaw it and see what I can do with it. If it's broth, then I'll make some soup. If not, whatever. I don't know. I might just end up chucking it. Um, there was two things that I ended up throwing out in the freezer, and I don't like to throw anything out, but it was a lesson learned. Uh, there was, I had made, when I did a big freezer thing in September of last year, I had made sausage and egg McMuffins and uh, ham and egg McMuffins. Riley wasn't a big fan of the ham and egg, and uh, I since then took notes, obviously, when I make them again. Uh, because he really did enjoy the sausage ones, I will obviously make them with sausage and not the breakfast ham anymore, or the sandwich ham, rather. Uh, and then I'm going to make my eggs differently, because I find cooking them in the oven, uh, they kind of stay too thick, and then they don't, when you go to heat it up, it doesn't heat up really good. So maybe I'll scramble some eggs, or uh, just kind of thin, thin layer of eggs, or well, I'll figure something out the next time that I make it. But that was one of the notes that I made note of so there was I think four um breakfast sandwiches with the ham and egg and nobody else was really eating them they've just been kind of taking up freezer space nobody's going to eat them so I just kind of bit the bullet and threw them in the garbage I didn't want to but that's what I did I'm not gonna dwell on it and then the other thing that I threw out was there was two reasons that I threw this out number one it was wrapped in foil and the foil got like split somehow and it was all freezer burned but I was going to throw it out anyways because it was like a rice uh, rice bake that I made and I had made two and we had tried one and we weren't fans of it so um, it just wasn't something there's no sense heating it up and trying to eat it because we're not going to eat it so I definitely won't be making that anymore those rice bakes so um that was that. That was the two things that I ended up throwing out out of that whole freezer, which is pretty good. <clears throat> like I said, I don't like to throw anything out, but I had to because, I mean, it's just taking space and I know that we're not going to eat it. So, Anyways, I am going to, and those bananas are starting to look icky, so I might peel those and wrap them and put them in the freezer. 
And eventually when I have enough, I will make some banana muffins or something. But for now, we've got lots of sweets and whatnot. I am going to take this cheesecake and portion it out into little containers, put some in the freezer, leave some in the fridge. Because if I leave this here, I'm just going to end up eating it all and I don't want to do that. So I'm going to get this all cleaned off. But first, I'm going to go and dust. Okay, pause that. I just downloaded some country, country, um, oh goodness, a playlist to listen to while I was cleaning. I am heating myself up some cabbage and sausage for supper. It's only 3.30, but I feel like eating right now. So a quick update on what I've been doing. Um, I washed down the ceiling on... This half, I washed all these walls right up to here. The only thing I didn't do was these shelves and all that stuff right there. Um, Got to clean off the table, I'll do that in a second. I washed all that, dusted all that, and that, and that. I washed down, um, I know it's bright, but I washed there along the door here was just kind of like gets wet and like a little moldy and stuff so I washed all that I washed the cat's dishes I washed the deep freeze there's a kitty now um, this whole area is washed I dusted that little pitcher there and the owl and got all that done I dusted washed that off I also did the fan which is nice and clean now and it's not making that racket anymore because I Tighten it up a bit. Riley has to hang up his stuff here, which is going to get done in a second. So whenever I'm done this, he'll pick that stuff up. I'll clean off the table. Um, I'm in the process of washing the tablecloth that was on it, so that's that. This still has to be dealt with. Um, some stuff I had pulled from the freezer. There's some bars in here that I'm going to put in the fridge so that we can eat up. This was uh, some leftover pork chops that were badly freezer burned. So I took those out. I'm going to give that to the cat. Um, kind of cut the watermelon up after supper and just kind of clean all this stuff up. There is um, these dishes to do and a couple there, but I'll get those done. I gotta put the cleaners back and this was the rice that was left from lunch if anybody wants it for supper they're more than welcome I'm gonna put that on top of it and if not it'll be there for tomorrow so it won't get wasted it will get eaten up and tonight for supper I am using the chicken that I uh, had made last night for supper and I asked Riley what he wanted and he wanted some I gave him the choice if he wanted fajitas or quesadillas which is Along the same lines, the same thing, but he said fajitas. So, I didn't even wash my... This was the pan that the rice was in. I'm just going to use that. Not a big deal. I'm going to put some butter in there. I have my chicken that's left from last night. I'm going to cut up an onion. I'm going to use some mushrooms. And Riley doesn't really like peppers, but... Uh, I think what I'll do is I'll add, obviously there's going to be cheese, so that'll be that'll be good enough uh, in the fajitas. It's not going to be like a full-blown fajita like I normally make, but it'll be a fajita nonetheless. So that's what I'm going to go ahead and make him. And I was, I looked up a, a lemonade recipe, and um, it takes one and a half cups of lemonade, of uh, lemon juice, and this doesn't even fill, uh, a half a cup doesn't even fit in there, so I don't know what I'm going to do for that, but eventually those lemons are going to have to be juiced. So I'm going to go eat while I make his supper, and I'll be back. And then I'm going for a bath. i got to still finish the kitchen, but maybe I'll finish it tomorrow. All right, so just a quick time check. It's 4.30. Riley ate. This is, he had two uh, fajitas, and that's what's left. Obviously, I want to put the piece of chicken and that back in. And this will get eaten up. Just not the waste. That's just how we are here. Um, he doesn't have cooties or nothing. So um, I went ahead and on my list, I had to shred the cheese. I had a block, not a full block of marble. And then I had some left of the uh, pizza mozzarella. So I just, this one here has got mixed. And that one is just the mozzarella. 
I'm going to keep one of these in the fridge and the other three I'm going to stick in the freezer. But the annoying job of shredding it is done. So whenever we need it, I can just pull them out and use them up. So, so far on my list, I cleaned out the deep freezers. I organized it and I did my inventory of them. I shredded the cheese. I washed the bedding, the tablecloth, and the curtains. Um, dust and deep clean the kitchen while I could write dust... Well, no, because I, I didn't finish dusting, so I'm not going to do that. So, uh, The lemon, I have to juice them, but first I have to figure out how I'm going to freeze them, fix the menu plan, which i kind of been working on. Uh, we are, what is the date today? The 23rd. So I have chicken written here, which technically we did have chicken, so that was just a fluke because since... The two weeks since Jay has been sick, it's as you can see, all these black X's. Nothing has been made that was supposed to be made, and this should have an X here as well. And all this week here, so all this week, pretty much all this week, other than today. Um, I wrote macaroni for tomorrow. I don't know, maybe I'll make a big pot of that, and then <clears throat> Riley can have... Uh, Macaroni for school on Monday, if there's school, because we're, they're calling for 25 centimeters of snow on Sunday and 5 to 10 centimeters, I believe, on Monday. So, yeah, we're getting lots of snow. Um, I have fajitas written here, but he just ate fajitas uh, here, technically, because it is chicken, but he still ate uh, the fajitas. So I don't think I'm going to bore him again. Although he probably doesn't mind. I'm going to switch it up and maybe on Monday I will make the pizza and um, <clears throat> my brother-in-law's times changed at work and he, he used to be off Monday and Tuesday which left me with Tuesday not having to run any anywhere on a school day or anything. Um, but now he has three days a week where he doesn't have to go in and he asked me, uh, or, yeah, three days that he could pick up the kids or whatever, and he asked me which days I prefer, and I told him the day, the dialysis days, because usually we drop the kids off in the morning at school, and then we have a little bit of time to screw around, and then we have to make it to dialysis, and then he's there for three and a half hours, three three and a half hours to four hours, and then we have another like hour and a half that we have to find time, find something to do before we pick up the kids, and it just it makes for a long, long day. So I asked him if Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, if those could be the days that he picks up the kids, so that when we're done dialysis, we can come right home. And although that leaves me driving the kids every single day of the week. It does, um, you know, I don't know what the word I'm looking for is, but it makes it so that we don't have to wait after dialysis. So I'll take it. And it's just, it's annoying. His his times change all the damn time. and But he just keeps taking, like, different positions and stuff like that. But anyways, it is what it is. Um, so he's going to pick the kids up on those days. <laughs> And I will, another good thing, we'll be able to come home and start supper because usually it's pretty hectic on dialysis days. We've got to come home and then i got to rush around and make something for supper. And Riley's usually starving when he gets home. So, yeah, that's that. So I'm um, just, like I showed you guys here, I know today is a lot of jumping back and forth and just <laughs> talking and whatnot, but... <clears throat> that's just how my day is going. Um, I just kind of made a list of things, different things that I had written down on this list. I'm going to write it down. I know I talked about this a while ago, but this is what I have so far. And I'm just going to go through and make sure. And then I'm going to start erasing some stuff. Maybe I'll take a picture just so I know like what days we had what. And then kind of make it similar next month because... At the beginning of the month, things were going good. Uh, you know, the, I knew, okay, Monday night was were, were fajitas, and Tuesdays was tacos, and Wednesday was pizza, you know, like, so I might continue with that. Um, you know, having pizza and whatnot every once in a while, or once a week, or I don't know. I'll see. Anyways, now that we have a lot more meat, I'll be able to do different things. And, yeah, so I'm going to go and sit down later on after 
I eat, or no, I already ate, sorry, I'm just so, uh, what I'm in the process of doing right now is taking my cheesecakes, and these were originally for, like, hamburgers, but I'm going to take a, I have three of them, I'm going to take three pieces of cheesecake, uh, individual pieces, put them in there, stick it in the freezer, and then find place for the other ones in some other container, I'm going to leave some in the fridge, and then I'm going to soak this, Jay has his, um, Banana bread over there that needs to be dealt with. I gotta deal with this chicken, leftover chicken and that. I don't wanna, I'll probably end up making a wrap or so with it and eating that later on just because all I had was a little bit of the um, cabbage and sausage. And it didn't really hit the spot, but anyways, that's what's going on right now. I am gonna go for a relaxing bubble bath in a little bit just to kinda relieve any stress and just take some five minutes to myself and then after I come out I'll probably make, probably make a pot of coffee and then get back into the groove of things I guess uh, if I could get all that stuff dusted and the walls washed down at least I'll be happy tomorrow there's a snowstorm so then I can kind of you know go through the cupboards and organize those a little bit although they're not bad because I, it hasn't been that long since I did them but I do want to pull the stuff out of my pantry and organize that and the stuff from my cupboards and stuff like that so I could leave that for tomorrow I'm not going to feel bad if I don't get it done but because it is still nice and sunny and I have the window open it's cold it's minus 20 some but uh it's it's nice and sunny so um I have about three hours Two and a half hours of sunlight left. We'll see. We'll see if it gets done or not. But that's that's where I'm at right now. And later on, I'm going to take all my... Um, these all have to be taken down and stored away because they're all dry. I want to water my plants and get that knocked off the list. And yeah, so that's, that's that. So I'm working on my list. I'm getting some stuff crossed off, which is good. So, I will talk to you guys in a little bit.